Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Trad climbing in the Lake District is steeped in history, so we took the opportunity during the Arcteryx Big Mountain Weekend to go out with Katie Whitaker and Charlie Woodburn to climb a classic trad route. Uh, my name is Katie Whitaker and I live in North Wales, but at the moment we're in the Lake District. Lake District, myself and Charlie uh, for the Lakeland Revival and for the Big Mountain Weekend that's happening in a few days time. 15 minutes it says here. 15 minutes and no pass. Yeah, break that in 15 <laughs> Let's do it. My name is Charlie Woodburn. I'm a climber based in Kendall, predominantly a trad climber but I, I sport climb in Boulder and have a dabble in most things except winter climbing. I've been climbing for Goodness, 30 years? Today Katie and I have come up to the Ucrag Knots in Buttermere, just on the side of Honister Pass. The route we're going to do is called Substitute, it's an E15B. It's one of the Lakeland Revival routes this year. And it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> do you think it's still going to be okay in the corner? It'll be alright, yeah. The corner's drying pretty rapidly, I think. Although we've had quite a good spell of weather recently, it did rain heavily last night, so we need somewhere that's going to be drying pretty quickly. It's, pretty it's nice and windy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's climbable, I think. The Lake District is, uh, you know, about as famous a climbing area in Britain as you can get. It's interesting that it's less popular now than it used to be, which is a kind of source of kind of confusion to me, really, because it's so good. I think it gets a bad rap in terms of weather, but having lived uh, in various places around Britain, including Bristol and, and Sheffield, it doesn't really seem to rain that much more here than everywhere else. It's just that um, it's a bit colder and the winters are a bit longer, but you know, the best things are worth seeking out, definitely. Our initial inspiration for the Lakeland Revival was that um, a colleague of mine, Tim, he was up in the lakes quite a bit and the shop staff were saying to him like, it's just a bit of a shame there's not that many people here coming anymore and routes are getting overgrown, it'd be great if we could do something and I guess that was our initial like, let's do something for the lakes. Um, and then for me, I started trad climbing before I did any other kind of climbing, so it's quite special to me. My hands are so cold. I don't know, I just want it to be available for other people to try or experience. And I know it's not always that easy for people to get into. I was lucky because I came from a trad climbing family. So then with the introduction of the Big Mountain Weekend, which is a series of clinics running all weekend, it like gives people the opportunity to enter trad climbing really cheap and with the best people that can teach them. Um, yes, yeah, so that's why I'm like quite passionate about it.
My experience of Lake District climbing probably is not going to encourage people to come climbing here. <laughs> uh, because it's, I always just get really scared. <laughs> It's just like old school, like really old school and old school, it feels like old school grades and you never like, oh yeah, hard yes, it'll be fine. You're always like, you, ha you like fully have to respect every climb that you do here because you never know what you're going to get. Kind of makes it a bit exciting and nerve wracking. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, bud. Nice one guys, I can't wait to try out that route one day. If you're interested in the Lakeland Revival and the Big Mountain Weekend, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.